Um, I wanted to ask you about um, 9, 9, 99. Is that, is that got something to do with the Y2K or is there something going to happen on that? Um, 9, 9, 99 is really mathematical figure 9 to the ninth power of 9. But when we write it out, people usually say 9, 9, 9. It's 9 to the ninth power of 9. That's the largest figure that you can calculate because the highest number is 9. Anything else, any numbers above 9 are compound numbers. Meaning 11 is a compound of two ones. 12 is a compound of a one and two. They're not numbers. They're compound figures. So nine is the highest number. We have two figures of death and destruction that pertains to the beast. And his was 6666. That was when he, last time the devil came into power on earth. And that was up in uh, 72nd Street when he incarnated through Pope Paul VI. P, P, 6. A P is an inverted 6. You follow that? And then we have our own 999, ninth month, ninth day of 1999, which is the end of the devil's rule. Those two figures are there. In Freemasonry, they hide behind the sacred number of the sacred names of Ra and say he has 69 names. You follow what I'm saying? That 69 names is symbolic of 6 and 9, 6 ether, 9 ether. 9 ether in death becomes ghost in 6 ether. 6 ether in death becomes nothingness. Like it says, he restoreth my soul. So the, you can have your soul removed and you can have your soul restored. Unless their soul is restored, they dissipate into nothingness. You follow? That's what happens with 6 ether. Inverted 9. Um, I was listening to a tape and uh, I heard you say... Um, Something about a red and blue star coming together, and I didn't know what that represented. That was just one question. Um, another one is I, I was noticing that we dealing a lot with um, like microorganisms and stuff like that, you know, in the, in the books. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, that's that's kind of a little bit different from what, so some of the things that we usually did. And the another, who did. <clears throat> that mean, or that I usually read it. Okay, in our back document. in our old books, the book called Science of Creation, uh -huh. I was breaking down microorganisms back in 1970. Oh, okay. So that's not, it's not new to me. It's new, well, young to readers me. are just catching up with it. Yeah. Okay. A lot of things I'm teaching today, <clears throat> I taught back. I wrote books back in 1967 under Amanubi or Akuta. Mm -hmm. It's on archives in Washington. People didn't even know I wrote them okay. about Egypt back then. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. And, and the last one was, uh, I, I was just doing, you know, from my old books, I just went back and I was studying them, you know, over again. And I noticed like a pattern with, um, some of the, the the doctrine it was like I noticed that um like the number 46 was coming up over and over again like um you know the 46 um um people with um uh, Tammuz that did, did plagiarization chromosomes and, all yeah that, stuff, that like that and 46 I just dynasties uh huh yeah I was that's trying to an Egyptian out. figure I mean I'm just you know is it more to that those those three yes. questions is more? It, no, not more to the words it's more to the number uh -huh. uh, Egyptians were in numerology okay. 46 is really not 46 in Egyptian it's four and and six uh -huh. and four represented the four elements earth water and fire okay or wind and wind fire and, and six represented the mark of a papis a papis uh -huh. was the egyptian way of saying satan okay right and that was his mark of identity and time and his cycles worked in sixes our cycles work in nine uh -huh. you feel what i'm saying yes. but four was the marking point of the universe, the four corners of the universe, and they represent the four elements that we identify with okay. as incarnated beings. So that each number you read in Egypt, when you see a number like 72, uh -huh. you say seven and two. And you look into the Egyptian mysteries as to what deities moved in two, and you come up with Osiris or Asaru and Asit or Isis. And you say, okay, what deities moved in fives? And you get the names of the five deities. Mm -hmm. What deities moved in six? And you'll see a pattern there in the Egyptian mysteries. They tell a story about us. Okay. You follow? Which yeah. will be explained thoroughly in the in order. There's a new order okay. in existence now. Breaks down the whole, all the secret mysteries. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Um, the, oh, the red and blue star? Right. That. You look to the north. Uh -huh. When Venus comes into play, and you'll see a, a, a red star beside it. Okay. And Venus comes close as bluish green. Uh -huh. Right, those are signs of the alignment. And I didn't come up with that. 